I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Looking for the ultimate polywag? Well, look no further. So, Vicky. Go for Toxic. Goes for Headbutt. Don't flinch. They got a crit. Wow, okay. Must be nice. Obviously, we're going to go for Protect here. And they'll probably go for Substitutes. Whoops. Or we'll go for Substitute now. It doesn't matter either way. I'm glad they missed Hypnosis. Now we're going for protect. So we should have this one in the bag. I'm pretty confident about this. Go for headbutt. We'll go for a second protect. Fails. They go for the headbutt. Doesn't break the substitute though. Yeah, we we definitely got this one in the bag. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Eh, screw it. We'll go for a hydro pump. Why not? That is it. We are now the Poliwag Master. Right, here we go. Poliwhirl Battle. Let's do it. So their Poliwhirl is a modest nature. Their defense is pretty high. Their HP is pretty high in terms of AV. They got a little bit of speed investment and a little bit of special defense investment. Don't know if that's going to come into play at all. Not really because we're doing a stall set here, but you know. We're gonna get the Toxic off first, no problem. I'm assuming they're going to substitute. They might just go for a Psychic or a Skull. We'll see what happens. They go for Psychic, okay. And there's a good amount of damage, but nothing that we cannot handle. So we're gonna go for Protect, obviously. And they very well might go for Substitute, actually, but it's fine. So they go for Psychic again. So now I have a choice. So I go for Substitute of my own? Or the Seismic Toss? I think we just go for Substitute. They go for Psychic. It looks like they're just going to Psychic Spam. That's fine with me. Because this battle is pretty much over. Now their HP is what? 292? Okay. So we're going to be doing 91 damage with Seismic Toss. That's a little under half. Well, a little bit more than under half. It's like like a third. Yeah. So they actually do go for substitute. Interesting play. Well, you know what? We'll mimic that. We'll also go for sub. The only problem is you're poisoned and I'm not. So even though we're down to 28 HP, they're going to break the substitute. I was going to say, did they not break the substitute? And then they're going to get KO'd by the poison damage. Declared us the true Poliworld Master. Here we go. Poly Wrath Battle. His name is Yuin. Or Wan, maybe? Yan. Alright, so again, our strategy is to stall him out. Uh, his moveset is Brick Break, Bulk Up, and Psychic. I would imagine he's going to go for either Psychic or Bulk Up here. Probably Psychic. Goes for Psychic. How much is this going to do? Quite a bit, huh? We can survive a couple of those. Okay, good. Good, good, good. 
So we should have this one in the bag then, because we can go for Protect, which is what we're going to do. And then we're going to go for Substitute, Protect, Substitute, Protect, and that should give us the win. We also have Seismic Toss in our Arsenal, which will do uh, 91 damage. And he has, what, 363 HP? So we're looking at about a fourth of his HP with Seismitas. Okay, we got him to about half. Go for protects. Goes for bulk up. Switching his strategy around, I like it. Not quite in size with toss range just yet, but we're going to go for Substitute. Gets a critical. Alright, and Seismic Toss at this range will take him out, so we'll go ahead and just go for the Seismic Toss. And we are the Poly Wrath Master. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Try it again. We gotta hope that they get uh, paired and we don't. For a turn. Hmm. We have to hit at least one Calm Mind, though. I think one's fine. And we have to hit two Shadow Balls. We have to go for Thunder Wave here. We just need like one extra turn. Okay, that's unfortunate. I was hoping that maybe the pair would hit there. We'll go for Calm Mind. Goes for Shadow Ball. Okay, now I gotta hope that they get paired and we don't. The opposite happened. The exact opposite happened. Damn it. But we live with one HP because Abra's a beast. That special D drop, that's okay. If we can hit the Shadow Ball and they get paired, we win. Or if we just get a freaking crit! Ha <laughs> ha! Abra came in clutch. Not only did it live with one HP, it came in with that clutch crit attack. That's what I'm talking about. That's what you're being paid for, Abra. Let's just try spamming Shadow Ball. Let's see how much Shadow Ball does to him. It might do more than half. I doubt it, but we can see. Um, after that, I guess we'll just go for a Stolly set. I don't really know what else to go for here. Um, Calm Mind isn't going to work. So we'll go for Shadow Ball straight up, see what happens. See how much damage we're going to do. So almost half. And we get the special defense drop. We actually might win right here. Thanks to that special defense drop. We live with 5 HP. 5 HP. This actually might knock him out. That, sha that special defense drop may have just been what we needed to win. And we got it. We got pretty lucky there, but we'll take it. Uh, my other plan, if that didn't work out was to go stall set, toxic, protect the whole nine yards. Although it probably would have worked very well, to be honest. Iron Child did a lot of damage. Here we go. We got this. We got this. I know we do. We're going to outspeed him. We also have Mega Alakazam on our side. Our strategy is a toxic taunt, and then just stall. We have recover, we have protect. That is all we need. The only thing he can really do to screw us over is if he hits a try attack and it paralyzes, freezes us, or anything along those uh, lines. Or if I actually click uh, recover because I clicked A too fast. That might also do it. Rip. So he disables our recover. That's, uh, that's okay. Not the greatest thing to happen, but could be okay 
I totally screwed that one up. Try attack, okay. Not having recover really sucks. That's my fault. I don't want to blame but myself. Gonna go for taunts. Hopefully they go for calm mind or they can't go to disable. Probably gonna go for calm mind. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So now they have to go try attack. We're gonna go protect. Okay. Okay. The sable's not over. So the only thing I could really do is just go for a second protect and hope it works. It does work. Okay, so we got lucky there. Goes for the try take. Hopefully, recover is undisabled. Oh, perfect. Well, we're gonna go for taunt though. They might go for recover. Perfect. So now we can go for protect or recover. It doesn't matter. Let's go for protect. Hell yeah. And we are now the Alakazam Master. What are you doing, Wiki, huh? He's biting my elbow. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing, huh? What you doing, buddy? We are now the Alakazam Master. Okay, quick reminder, he has bulk up, poison jab, and a thunder punch. Masahiro. Alright, so we're gonna hit him with that toxic. Goes for bulk up, of course, naturally. That's fine. His physical attack is pretty high. His HP is pretty high. He outspeeds us as well. Does he go for a second bulk up? I don't know. I hope not. I was thinking about going for a substitute. Okay, I'm glad that we went for the uh, protect then. Question is, should I go for seismic toss? Or should I go for a second protect or a substitute? It's 306 HP. Max. Seismic toss will do 90 damage. Plus toxic damage. Yeah, I think we'll go for seismic toss. Goes for a second bulk up, so that's good for us. Because we had seismic toss that we could protect. And that should be enough to knock him out. At least I hope. If not, it's going to be damn close. Goes for a poison jab. Gotta hope for the second protect. I failed poison jab. Will it knock us out? Nope. We win. Okay. Whew. I was a little nervous there, but we got it. And the chop goes down. What do we do after that? So I was like, hoping for another bulk up there. Um, but that's fine. If we don't get poison this time, I think we'll be able to win. So let's do it again. His name is Ryuji. If not, what we'll, we'll have to do is, like I said, grind some speed candies from a choke so that we can outs uh, outspeed him. Uh, let me take a look at Machamp's. Uh, their Machamp as well. See what he kind of got. Okay, so bulk up first move. That's not that's not too bad. All right, so their Machamp is very similar. It has Brick Break, Headbutt, and Bulk Up, and they're pretty speedy as well. Very speedy. Alright, so we get the Toxic off. Now the question is, do they go for a second bulk up? I don't know, I'm just gonna go for Protect. I hope not. I hope they go for it next turn. So they go for Poison Jab. I respect it, but I don't like it. I'm gonna go for Seismic Toss. Hopefully they don't poison us. 
Okay, no poison, but it did almost, almost 50% of our HP, so that's kind of scary. Alright, so we're going to go for Protect. If they go for another bulk up or in trouble. I should have maybe went for Seismic Toss. But we may not have lived another Poison Jab if that was a low roll when they hit us. So I have a choice here. Do I go for the second Protect or do I go for Seismic It doesn't matter. We're going to go for second Protect. Because we're not going to be able to hit the Seismic Toss anyways if we lose. We survive. So we actually win. Nice. So we are now the Machoke Master. Um, now I'm a champ. This is going to be a tough one. Again, I think we can win this. We just have to like get a little lucky in what he goes for. So if he goes for uh, bulk up here, I think we're going to go for substitute after we get the toxic off. And then protect. And then I get seismic toss. He'll break the substitute. We get a second protected. We should win. That's my strategy. I hope it works. But first things first, we always have to go for Toxic. Goes for Bulk Up. I think we can survive one Brick Break with one Bulk Up. And have enough HP for the Substitute. I think so. So if he goes for Attack here, we should be fine. If he goes for Bulk Up, we should be fine. So Substitute, here we go. Goes for Brick Break. We'll find out some science here. Yep. Okay, so we got the Sub Up. We got the sub up. We can go for protect. We can go for protect here. And the next time I think we go for brick break. Or not brick break. We go for seismic toss. And then protect and then we win. I think that's the case. So we actually... It doesn't break our substitute. Um, we went for protect. So what am I saying? What am I saying, man? Alright, so we're going for seismic toss. We're going to do some... Big damage here. He has 363 HP. We're going to do about a fourth of his uh, max HP with the Seismic Toss. Plus the Toxic Damage. So we still have our sub up too, by the way. So we're just going to go for another Seismic Toss. So he breaks our sub. That's fine. We're going to take him out with some pain. Some Seismic Toss, baby. And we are the Machamp Master. So, hey, we didn't get to beat Alakazam. That's fine. But we got to beat Machamp pretty quickly. So I'm pretty happy about that. All right. Now with our uh, HP, we should be able to win this. And then, like I said, we'll go quickly evolve them real quick. Uh, okay. So we're going to go for one growth. And then two poison gems. They also go for growth. Okay, they go for Sludge Bomb. We should be able to live this. Yep. And then we go final Poison Jab. And we're now the Bell Sprout Master. Which is a decent amount, but nothing too crazy. All right, so here we go. We're gonna test the waters. Like I said, we're gonna use Poison Jab without any growth. Excuse me. If the Poison Jab doesn't do enough, of course we use growth. Oh God. <laughs> and then Weeping Bell dodges it. I'm sorry, Weeping Bell. You know what? Maybe this Victory Bell battle will be a lot easier than I thought it would be. Maybe we don't even need Sword Stance. And I'm thinking Poison Jab should do a tremendous amount of damage. Should be able to two-hit KO just like the, uh, the Weeping Bell, hopefully. If not... <laughs> if not, we might have some problems. I think they might Swords Dance turn one, which is going to be scary for us because they could Sucker Punch. But I, I think we can survive one Swords Dance Sucker Punch. So if we can take it out in two Poison Jabs, we should be fine. If not, we might have to sneak some Gross in there, might have to get Swords Dance ourselves. We'll just have to wait and see and, and play it out. But here goes Poison Jab. 
Oh yeah. Two A KO baby Swords Dance. All right, here we go. So if they sucker punch us, we sh I'm thinking we should survive. But if not, oh, it didn't. Ah, oh. it didn't sucker punch, baby. So it doesn't even matter. We're the victory bell champions. We put the victory in victory bell.